Hello, welcome to Beth Roars, where we look at your favourite singers and find out what makes them them. Before we start, you can find me on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. My handle is at Beth Roars and I hold loads of votes on my Instagram so you guys can vote on who I react to. Also, please do check out my website, BethRoars.com, where you can book a singing lesson from me. And last but not least, please do head over to my Patreon, which is Patreon.com slash BethRoars, where you can get some more exclusive content. You can get early access to my podcast and you can also find out a little bit more more about my scholarship fund for aspiring artists. This one has been asked for loads in the comments. I didn't know him before this. And he is a singer from Argentina. Si te cuento los motivos que tengo hoy para vivir Como te explico lo esencial de tu existencia para mí. Interesting. He's got a lovely, beautiful, light tone. He's in this beautiful mid-mix and his voice is quite high set. So not everyone finds it so easy to sing up here. It's quite a nice place for me to sing, for example, but for men, it's pretty high. Um, he's in a really light place. So he's got that really tenor, tenor tone to him that gives him that the ability to move quite quickly over this area of his voice without that heavy, heavy push to it. I love his little distortion. That's cool. It just makes you want to smile, doesn't it? He's so sweet. What's really interesting about him is that this is actually really hard singing, but it seems so easy. It's really high. It's a beautiful, beautiful mixed tone. So it's not full head voice. It's not full chest voice. It doesn't sound pushed. It doesn't sound falsetto-y. It's somewhere in between. It's actually the sort of tone that you get a lot in R&B singing, this kind of mid-mix, light mix sort of tone. Cuando quieras caminar, no me importa dónde vas, quiero ser tu acompañante. A veces pierdo los sentidos, pensando el tiempo de partir. No quiero irme de este mundo con mis cosas por decir. I love that you said vibrato. I love how he's flipping between the different ways of attacking notes. So there's many different ways of how to get onto a note and they all express different things. Sometimes he's really attacking it with the breath and the sounds starting at the same time. That's like the normal way to attack a note. Ah. Uh, sometimes he's starting it with a little glottal, which is an uh, uh, if it's a vowel sound. So ah. Uh, sometimes he's attacking it with a little uh, a little slide that gives it a little bit of joy in there. And all these different nuances are being used to give us different emotions and feelings. It's really, really nice singing. Sin pecar de no con Atrás. 
to get this coordinated mix is really difficult sometimes. Now, what is anatomically happening is when you're in your chest voice, your larynx is in speaking position, it's really upright. When you go up into head voice, it tilts forward and another set of muscles become responsible for the tightening and relaxing of the vocal cords which are inside your larynx here. Now, those are what create the pitch. It's like a guitar string. If you tighten them, it gets higher. If you relax it, it gets lower. Now, at this point, he is using a coordination between these two sets of muscles. That is why it's so difficult. It's not one set of muscles, it's not another, it's a coordination between two. And for a lot of people, including myself, it took me a long time to learn this, that coordination is very, very difficult. So, Abel has been in the music industry since he was seven years old. He was chosen uh, to sing at a commemoration event when he was seven years old. And since then, more and more lucky breaks has, have happened to allow him to take steps up and up in the music industry. And I say lucky breaks. He's obviously worked really hard. He's obviously got a great voice as well. Hey, andar, andar, andar. Un Lovely to up into head voice there. Ah, Better be every time. I'm so glad you guys recommended him. What joy. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please do like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.